Tonight we're at uh, uh, this character Fred's house. And Fred's sort of like a little bit of a wild, rambunctious, uh, alcoholic, pot smoker, but you know, fun guy, very smart. Uh, but he just sort of goes off the edge a little bit. <laughs> Fred, don't spill on the carpet. Never. Who? <sighs> what we need is a purple carpet. I loved it right away. I mean, I couldn't believe it when I read it. It's so real and it's so uh, funny and painful. Oh, don't. Don't jerk off. Just save it for tomorrow, okay? It has been so long since I've had the experience of immediately wanting to be with people all, you know, all the time and saying, oh my God, I might have just hit like pay dirt that I actually have a new set of friends. And put on us tonight on Phil. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. oh. I hate this fucking door. So it begins. You know, the stuff I've done in the past um, has been like a, a touch broader. Like I have a big mustache or I'm on a beer drinking team, all of which I love. But um, I found myself going through regular life and uh, there were a lot of like little funny things that would happen every day and I had nowhere to sort of put them. And then I started to sort of write these sort of everyday scenes and eventually I kind of landed on this story, yeah. This content, I feel, is more similar to real life and more similar to real adult problems. Real things that come up in friendships. And it's funny. Jay's funny. The cast is funny. So to get to act with them and, and watch them work and, and then get to have their love and support um, all through the day. So there's nothing that was making me, other than I need to work and, and love to work. I have a baby at home and there's like, no, no way can I leave my baby. And these people, are worth leaving your baby for. There's a purpose. Until now, I gotta go to.